Google have rolled out some awesome, sick new features that you need to try. You can now literally see augmented reality 3D animals in your bedroom or your backyard. And you can even translate any text into another language real time. Also, stay until the end because I'm going to be giving away a Google Play gift card. So, let's get into it. So first up is one of Google's most recent new features and it's augmented reality. So if you go onto Google and type in snake or panda or horse, any animal you can really think of, and scroll down, you will see these 3D animals moving and there you will see an option that says view in 3D. If you don't see this option, don't despair, you just need to update your Google Chrome browser. So now if you click on view in your space, all you have to do is allow Google access to your camera and storage. So if you're happy with that, just click on got it. And now guys, you will actually just do the small hand gesture within your room so it can recognize your space and then it'll actually place the 3d animal in your room and now you can walk around it you can simply just watch it or get up close it's honestly so insane and i love the detail on some of the animals unfortunately this does only work on augmented reality enabled devices so check out if you've got augmented reality on your phone and then you can do this what's also really epic about this feature is that the animals you are seeing within your space are actually life-size so this is what a full-grown leopard would look like if it were right in front of you. And this, guys, is what a great white shark would look like if it were in front of you. It is so freaky, but it's so cool. And this feature is not exclusive to animals. They are rolling out more and more objects every day, so you can check them out in augmented reality. I love this feature. <laughs> Now onto some games and if you type in the search bar tic-tac-toe you will actually be able to play this game with Google just as you see me doing here and it's actually oddly addictive and it's a nice thing to pass the time while you're waiting in queues or at the doctor's room etc. And then it's not just exclusive to tic-tac-toe if you type in snake game this little game of snake will pop up and again it is so addictive it's ridiculous and you just use your finger to navigate and collect all the apples as you collect the apples your snake gets it's bigger i mean it's so simple but it's so fun and you can play all these games on your desktop computer so if you're at work and you just want to loosen up or have some fun check out snake game and finally i found another one pac-man and this one works exactly like the original it has the same sounds and everything i love it and i do find it best to play this one in landscape but you can also do it on desktop now these are super useful and are nifty tools you can use in your everyday life. So if you type in color picker, this color picker will pop up straight away on Google and you can either find the RGBs or hex color of whatever it is you're looking for. If you type in metronome, then a metronome will pop up just like that and you can actually change the BPM. You can make it faster or slower. This is so useful for my musos out there. If you type in breathing exercise, this one minute breathing exercise pops up and if you click play, as the circle gets smaller, you breathe out and as it expands and gets bigger, you breathe in and this just helps you calm down perhaps before a speech or a big meeting it's really cool there are so many different cool tools to check out on google and this last one is bubble level it literally works like a water level but it's on your phone love it <laughs> Now this feature has saved my bacon a couple of times and if you head on into maps, once you've parked your car, you click on the icon and you say save your parking. And what this does is it saves the location of where you parked your car. What you can also do is add in some extra notes like, oh, I parked on level five. Well, for me in this case, it was the green zone. And then you can even add an image because let's be honest, guys, parking lots can be very confusing and not that easy to navigate. So once you've done all of that, you can walk away and go do your thing. And when you're ready to go back, you just hit on directions and it'll literally direct you back to exactly where you parked your car. This is extremely useful and I use it every time I park now. 
Another really nifty tool is checking out your timelines. If you go into maps and click on those three lines and then click on your timeline, you will actually see a record of all the places you have gone to from whatever day you choose. So I chose another day and on that day, this is where I traveled to and what times I was there. Some folks might say this is really creepy, but in my opinion, this can be a really useful tool for a number of different things. What it also does is logs a couple of images that you took on the day. So this was a day I was on a press event and the pictures actually showed up. So if for some reason you want to go back in time, you kind of can now. Now this one is a massive time saver. Let's say for instance you have a handwritten note and you don't want to retype all of it on your device or your desktop. All you do is you open up Google Lens, you point it at the note, and then once you've seen all the text has been highlighted, you take a picture and you can now say select all and copy the text because what it's done is it's recognized your handwriting which is surprisingly accurate how it does it and it has copied it into a digital form so you can literally just paste it in your notes or in an email or maybe on your website so you do not have to sit and spend the time retyping all your notes. And then on top of that another thing you can do with Google Lens is translate text real time into another language. So I've selected the language as English to translate to Hindi and then no matter what I put point the camera at, it'll pick up the English and translate it to Hindi. Just as you see here, this blows my mind. I also tested it with Chinese. I had this manual with some Chinese on it. I popped it in front of Google Lens and as you can see, it translated it to English with no problem at all. So when you travel, check this feature out. Another seriously, seriously nifty feature that Google has is something called speech to text. And as the name would suggest, as you speak out aloud, Google takes your speech and turns it into text. All you do is you open up something like notes or emails or wherever you want text to appear. And on the keyboard is a little microphone icon. Once you click on that microphone, it'll start writing down every single thing you say, word for word, line for line, just as you see right over here. So you can use this for emails, you can use it for essays, you can use it for just about anything. Check it out on your keyboard, see if you've got it speech to text by Google. Now, this one you may have heard about before, but if not, it is also super nifty and it is Chromecasting, which is essentially casting whatever is on your phone onto your TV. You will need the Google Home app for this, but once it is installed, you are A for away. It instantly recognizes a TV with Chromecast in it. And from there, you can literally say mirror device or cast whatever it is you're watching, like on YouTube, and it'll mimic what is on your phone. So again, I think this can be really nifty for work situations. If you have a presentation and you want to present straight from your phone, or maybe you want to sit down and show your entire family all the pictures you took while you were on holiday. It's literally as simple as that. But again, do just make sure that your TV has got Chromecast built in, or you've got an external Chromecast plugged into your TV. Otherwise you won't be able to do this. Did you know that if you're in Google browsing a website like, I don't know, hailsworld.com, and it's in a language you don't understand or you want to translate it to another language, you simply click on those three dots in the top right hand corner and click on translate. Once you've selected that, a little tab will pop up at the bottom of the screen and you can choose what you want to translate it to. So I said translate to French and as you can see, just like that in seconds, my entire website was translated into French. There is just about every single language you can think of available to choose from. So if ever you wanted to do that, now you know how. Another extremely nifty tool, especially when traveling, is Google Translate. If you click on this conversation icon and say something like, hello, how much does this cost? Google will translate for you in your selected language and say, Bonjour, combien ça coûte? And of course, I tried it the other way around. So if I say, parlez-vous français? Google responds and says, Do you speak French? So you can have full on conversations with other people using this feature, even if you don't know each other's language. On top of that, you can even save phrases that you think you might use a lot when traveling. So again, I'm using French as an example, but if you type in here, how much is this? For example, Google will give you the translated version of that in French. And if you click on this little sound icon, it will narrate the French version for you. And you can just click the star icon to save it as a phrase that you will use a lot later on. 
I'm giving away this Google Play gift card to one of my lucky subscribers. It's valued at $30 and you can download movies, music, games or applications. And all you have to do to enter is be subbed to the channel and comment down below what your favorite tip, trick or hidden feature was. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe or check out my other videos right over here and I will see you in the next one. Toodles! Oh, 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 oh,